NASA's Perseverance rover may have uncovered one of its most important clues yet in the search for life on Mars. In Jezero Crater, it found rocks with signs that could be linked to ancient microbes, though scientists remain cautious, calling it a potential biosignature. In this video, we'll dive into what Perseverance uncovered, why scientists are cautious, and how these Martian rocks could change everything we know about life beyond Earth. The story begins in Neretva Vallis, a dried-up river channel that once carried water into Jezero Crater. Billions of years ago, it was home to a broad lake system, fed by rivers and surrounded by deltas, prime environments for preserving traces of life. In 2024, Perseverance arrived at the Bright Angel Formation, an outcrop of layered mudstone. On the surface, scientists noticed something unusual. Dark circular nodules and ring-shaped spots scattered across the rocks. These repeated patterns suggested underlying chemical or environmental processes. The rover drilled into one of these rocks, later nicknamed Sapphire Canyon, and analyzed it with its onboard instruments. Pixel, a laser spectrometer, mapped its elemental composition, while Sherlock, an ultraviolet Raman spectrometer, looked for organics. The analyses revealed three striking findings. First, the sample contained organic carbon molecules, the chemical backbone of life. Second, key elements such as phosphorus, sulfur, and iron were present, arranged in ways consistent with reactions involving organics. Third, and perhaps most significant, it contained the minerals vivianite, iron phosphate, and grigite, iron sulfide. On Earth, both minerals are often linked to microbial metabolism. In muddy lake beds, microbes consume organic matter and release sulfides that crystallize into grigite. Vivianite, meanwhile, can form when microorganisms recycle phosphorus in sediments. The fact that these minerals appeared together, alongside organic compounds and distinctive textures, immediately raised attention. Timing made the case even stronger. The minerals seemed to form soon after the mud was deposited in Jezero's ancient lake, not billions of years later through unrelated processes. If microbes existed, this would have been the critical window for them to leave their mark. Taken together, textures, organics, and biologically associated minerals, scientists concluded these may preserve what they cautiously call a potential biosignature. The significance of this discovery lies in the convergence of evidence. A single line of data, textures, minerals, or organics, could be explained away by non-biological processes. But finding all three in the same context demands careful attention. The textures in the Bright Angel rocks resemble microbial structures in ancient Earth sediments. Colonies of microorganisms often create localized chemical gradients as they metabolize, leaving behind nodules or spots that later fossilize into rock. The ring-shaped leopard spots on the Martian samples fit this pattern. The minerals strengthen the case. They are not uniquely biological, but on Earth, they often form as byproducts of microbial activity in low oxygen environments. Their presence alongside organics suggests a system that could once have supported microbial communities. However, scientists emphasize caution abiotic chemistry, reactions without life, can also generate similar results. Grigite, for example, may form in hydrothermal systems, while vivianite can crystallize simply from interactions between phosphate and iron. The organic molecules, too, might originate from non-biological reactions driven by sunlight or volcanic activity. That's why researchers avoid overstatement. They are not declaring that life has been found, but rather that the evidence matches what might be expected if microbes once lived in Jezero's lake system. As lead author Joel Hurowitz noted, the conservative approach is to maintain the designation of potential biosignature until more definitive tests can be carried out. Equally important is the age of the rocks, between 3.2 and 3.8 billion years old. This was a period when Mars had liquid water, a thicker atmosphere, and a climate far more hospitable than today's. If life ever arose there, 
this would have been the time. This marks a key milestone for astrobiology, offering the strongest clues yet without giving a final answer. To get closer to the truth, we now turn to the next step, what it will take to confirm these findings. The implications extend well beyond this single rock. If confirmed, these findings would demonstrate that life is not unique to Earth, but can emerge wherever the right conditions exist, raising the odds of life throughout the cosmos. Even if the features turn out to be purely chemical, they still reveal a complex geochemical history that shaped Mars's early environment. But the key step now is verification. Perseverance has already sealed and cached samples, including one from the Bright Angel Formation. To confirm their origin, scientists need to study them in Earth laboratories, where advanced tools can probe isotopes, nanoscale textures, and chemical structures at resolutions impossible for a rover. This is the goal of the Mars Sample Return Mission, which would retrieve the tubes and bring them home. In principle, the mission could provide the decisive evidence needed to confirm or rule out a biological origin. However, progress faces hurdles. Budget constraints and shifting priorities in space policy have placed the program at risk, with delays and potential funding cuts raising uncertainty. Without those samples, the debate over biosignatures may remain unresolved. In the meantime, researchers are not idle. Laboratory teams are recreating Martian conditions to test whether purely chemical processes could produce them and similar textures without microbes. Others are investigating ancient Earth environments, lake beds and microbial mats that may serve as analogs, offering insights into how biology interacts with sediments. The discovery strengthens the rationale for exploring other potentially habitable worlds, such as Europa and Enceladus, where subsurface oceans may host chemical energy sources. It also informs the search for life on exoplanets by showing the types of subtle signatures that can persist across billions of years. This discovery underscores the value of long-term exploration, built on careful planning, site selection, and years of steady science, each step paving the way for the next breakthrough. The Bright Angel Formation may hold the strongest clues yet of ancient Martian life, but only Earth labs can confirm. Perseverance has brought us closer than ever to an answer. Stay curious, like, share, and subscribe for more discoveries from Mars and beyond.